I recently done a long-term protective hairstyle. At the beginning of the three months, I had just cut my hair and this was the length that I was at. After the three months, this is how much my hair had progressed. It, it wasn't just longer, but it was also healthier. Long-term protective hairstyling is something that I have learned from our ancient African ancestors. Welcome to African Hair Secrets. Ninjani, it's Zinke Africa. So this is a really exciting video. Honestly, honestly, the art of long-term protective hairstyling. Our ancestors did this best, right? And there's a reason why they stuck to it. And there's a reason why they just got the results that they did. You know, kudos to them. And who else can we learn from if we do not learn from them? You know, they were the best to ever do this natural hair thing. So let's get into this thing, right? Like why is long-term protective hair styling such a thing so crucial and why it yields the results that it does the first point is that long-term protective hairstyles really reveal a lot about your hair so i don't know how your experience is but when my hair is out it can really look perfect it can look like it has no mistakes it has no issues it just looks absolutely perfect when in actual fact there are some issues there are some things that i can work on and by the time i put my hair in a long-term protective hairstyle which personally i prefer braids so when i put my hair in my braids that's when i can really see that oh there's a bald spot there or oh um my edges could actually do with a little bit of um improvement oh my hair it actually is really dry let me tend to that so the first opportunity that long-term protective hairstyle gives you is really looking at the issues of your hair and also giving you an opportunity to tend to those issues and really take care of your hair according to what your hair needs, right? So the second thing that I can say about um, long-term protective hairstyles, obviously if your hair is in a protective hairstyle, you can't really manipulate it um, as if it were out so it's less manipulation which then leads to less damage because you can't really do much damage to it if you're not really touching it like that obviously you make sure that you're taking care of your hair you will you know oil your scalp you'll hydrate it with water you'll moisturize it and everything of the sort in many ways it is taking a break even though you aren't because you're taking care of it okay the third thing to note is that long-term protective hair styling makes your hair care easier. I can wash my hair in my braids, I can deep condition my braids, and I can take care of my hair on the daily with as less hassle as possible, right? Everything is a lot easier to do. I have less excuses because actually everything is more manageable. Everything is a lot easier to do. So you have easier access to your strands and to your scalp. And it also helps with consistency. I found that I was able to be a whole lot more consistent with my hair oiling, with my washing, my deep conditioning. Everything was a lot easier than if I had my hair out. If I had my hair out, Certain things are overwhelming and a lot of things take time, but when my hair is in braids, it's just ease. The next thing to note is moisture retention. Sometimes you're starting from scratch, you don't know how to moisturize your hair and you're moisture training. I love to moisture train in my braids. If you're not moisture training and you already have a routine that works for you, you will find that when you moisturize your hair, it's easier for your hair to retain moisture. So what that means is that your hair is moisturized for a longer period of time than if it was out, not in a protective hairstyle. One thing that I love about protective styling is just about protecting your ends. Your ends are the oldest part of your hair and it's important to pay close attention to them because if they break off then it's going to be very hard for you to see the progress that your hair is trying to make. So making sure that you take care of those ends is extremely important and with protective hair styling it makes your job a whole lot easier because you aren't manipulating them. Once they're tucked in or they're protected 
protected or they're secured um, in however you like to protect your ends, um, whether you tuck them in, whether you apply a gel, whether you use additional hair. Either way, it protects your ends and it benefits your hair overall. That's all I have for you in terms of the art of protective hairstyling. Now that you are subscribed, you comment down below and you like this video. Other than that, love, light and blessings to you. Bye. Mwah.